Hi, lovely people. And I am I'm in Italy. And we ask you, what do you like me to cook it for you? And my God, everybody went, Osobuco. Yes, I love Osobuco. And I will do Osobuco. Actually, I will cook a simple way of the Osobuco. Everyone can make an Osobuco. Few ingredients. Maximum flavor. Also, buco is a shin of a veal, and then on the middle is the middles. Middles give us such a lovely flavor. Also, you can eat them as well. First of all, you need to ask your butcher to get shin of veal. There it is. You can see how big they are, but don't forget because when you cook, they will restringe it, they will go down. And then on the side of the also buco, you can see. There is all these nerves because it's kind of a muscles. So with the knife, you need to, to cut it a little bit and make sure you cut it right through. Inside as well, you do three cutting. And on this one, so you can see, now it's cut it. Because if you don't do that, when you cook, it actually goes, it's okay. But, you know, you have to do it. Okay, one, we got this one. My God, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Then again, you have another little cut on the side. Then you have another one on this side. Come on. And you have another one right at the end. Three. Okay. Gonna do the other one. This is a cheap cut of meat because it is cucina povera. What cucina povera means? Because it's a rustic way of cooking. They used to cook and they used to make to a maximum flavor. Not because there was poor, 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 but because they used everything. They didn't want to waste in anything. Anyway, this is the third one. Again, cut them on the side. Come on, there it goes. Let's put it back now. Two and three. Look at that. Let's put this one on top. Get a little bit of a flour. Just, it's just a little tiny bit. That is already too much. Salt and paper, yeah, this is very, very, very important. Make sure you use nice salt. Don't use that fine salt. A little bit of black pepper as well on top. One side and the other one. Just rub it a little bit. Many people say, don't salt the meats before. This one, yes, you do it. And the hallelujah is done. Just me wash my hands for a second. Ah. Yes, make sure it's very dry your hands when you wash it. Ah. Now, each one goes in the flour. You can see it's very little flour. Still going to remove some. Yeah, just a little bit more. Most of the flour stays inside this plate. It's three. Okay, let's put this one away. It's done. Ah, my hands are nice and clean. You have to make sure you go nice pan. Let's let the gas now. Very important. My gosh, what along the matches? <sighs> like the gas. They put some light. Well, do you know what I can actually use as a torch at night? Ah, yes. A marathon. Dun, 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 dun. And some butter. So simple. I have about two, three tablespoons of olive oil. Come on, let it melt it. What is it? You can do it. Simple and easy. If you cannot have a butter, just use olive oil. Very, very important you don't make the butter to burn. This is why I use both olive oil and butter. Stir it, medium heat. Ah, yes, lovely. Okay, no stand. Put this on the side. Oh yeah. I just put one in. Then put another one. Put another one. Yes. Let it cook without touching, without the moving at all for about two to three minutes and then you turn around. Let's put this back. Wash my hands. Then we do one of this. Yeah. Oh. Ah yeah. Oh, look at that. That is marvelous. Look at lovely meadows right on the meadows, a baby. Oh. One, two, perfectly flat. The other one, I didn't cut it right through, so let's start to curl it up. Doesn't matter. 
but too many to each side. Now I need to put some wine inside. Oh my, my. You need about one glass of wine. You use a good wine, not use a cooking wine. Can you drink a cooking wine? No, you can't. Cooking wine, what is it cooking wine? Rubbish wine. So good. A uh, little bit more wine. And it's done. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Just put me inside. Look at that lovely, creamy, juicy. Come have a look. Come have a look. Come have a look inside here. Remove off the gas. Just switch off for a few minutes. And now start to add your onion. With this one, I will use two onions and two carrots. Let's cut it, the onion. I love that sweetness of onions and the carrots. Make sure you cut them in small pieces. This one as well. Doesn't matter, some are big, some are small. Then you get the carrots, peel the carrots. Or not peel the carrots, I'll leave it to you. I'll get right through to the end. You can see. And then again, I turn the other side, just a few small, just once. And then slowly, with a knife. So easy. Look at me while I cut it. Good. Let's put this one back. Let's light again. So slowly, slowly. I said, can I have some matches for the, for the gas? Yes, yeah, I said. Now I finish. <laughs> Out. I love it. Da -da -da -da. Yes. What a stupid I am, sorry. <laughs> okay, over. Ah. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It smells so good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to taste this lovely flavor. Go with the bread here. Oh yeah. Mm. I love it. Mm. So full of flavor. Now I need with this carrots and onion all in. Yes. Look at that. It's cooking nice. There's no finish here. You see here, there's a little bit more. This is all the flavor, all the goodness which is stacked on it. Less. Grab it. Just a little touch of the wine. Just a little touch more here. Come on, yeah! Oh my goodness me. I'm gonna leave for two, three minutes and then I will have the passata. This has been on for two, three minutes. Now I'm gonna have the passata. It's only about 200 grams, that is good. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, but I can't leave this one out, this bit, so. I'm gonna have a little bit of a passata as well. Mmm! Oh God, it's so good. Stock is very important. Put some stock inside. Just put them inside. It's done. Oh my gosh. Oh my, my. Now, let it cook for about another minute or two. Let this come up to bubbling. I need to taste it for flavor. I need to taste it. Oh. Get the meat and just add it to it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose anything, even a little bit. Put the rest of the stock, turn down the temperatures, and let it cook for about an hour, but after we need to be covered. So put the spoons on the side. You know what? I like it. It's beautiful blue lid. Oh, no, yeah, it's my awesome bogo. Yeah. Do you want it? Come back later. There was somebody out. I don't think so. Anybody still there? Yes. There is deer. There is birds, pigeons, crow. Lots and lots of people. <gasps> Come back in an hour time, and I will feed you. Put a spoon over because you want to evaporate a little bit. Let it cook for about an hour. 
This is it. See you later. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Right, it is ready now. <sighs> oh my, my. Oh yeah, everything is cooked. All the vegetables which I put inside, they all melt. The meat becomes so soft, like butter. And that cream which is around, because also you get that lovely kind of jelly come out from the Osobugo. Everything combined together in such harmony. Let's do a little gremolat. What is gremolat? So simple. Parsley, just grab them all together, chop them very, very fine. Just use about a quarter of a garlic, squeeze up a little bit of lemons. I love to put a little olive oil on mine. Some people put the bread inside, a little salt, mix all together. Now I've done a nice bit of polenta, which I put a butter and parmesan. Quick polenta, you can buy them in any shop. This is nice. Ah, oh, yeah. So excited! Look at this lovely Osobuk. Oh my my, with that beautiful sauce. A little bit of gremolat on top. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil because I love it. And this is Osobuk Gennaro way. So easy, other than anything. You can do a nice risotto with the zafferans and you can use it. Polenta, fantastic, I love a polenta. Oh, do a mashed potato. It goes as well. Do you know what? With this sauce, if I eat all the meat and there is a sauce left, I can't even do a bit of spaghetti inside. You ask for it, I made it for you. Now it's up to you to make it. Do make it and enjoy. I have to taste it. I made it. I want to try now. I know it's good, but look at that. Everything smell up the bones. Look, you can tear it. I know you want it. Mm. Come on. I can't look after the camera. I'm sorry. Let me say look after. I, I just I enjoy it. Mm. It's so good. Sorry if I smile, but it's so good. I can almost try. How do you I'm off the camera now. I can eat it. I made it and I eat it.